Michael Stuart Allen, and I play John Proctor. I'm Tara Flanagan, and I play Elizabeth Proctor. You think about the Crucible, you think about all the subject matter, you think about it, that you think is very heavy, but there are actually quite a bit of, of laughs in the play. And, um, and that's, again, that's, Miller's such a good writer because he, he breaks the tension with laughter, with something funny, and then is able to build the tension to a, a higher level. Um, but I think the people people who come will really enjoy themselves. I think they'll laugh, I think they'll cry, I think they'll learn something about themselves, maybe go home thinking about society and how they can improve it. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's great for everybody. I can tell you someone else's favorite line that they say that I, that I really love hearing every night. Uh, and that's, uh, cling to no faith when faith brings blood. I think is uh, a, a brilliant line and a great um, sort of lesson for us all. Uh, as far as my personal favorite line that I say, that's very tough. I think it has to do with that speech where I'm saying, are, are the accusers always holy? Mm -hmm. uh, were they born this morning as clean as God's fingers? Uh, I think it's such a, a great, interesting way to phrase that, uh, that you think of like, you know, God's fingers and, and how, how pristine and amazing they are. And, the, and it's, it's such, a, such a unique turn of phrase that you don't get to say often. I, I love almost every line I say in this play, so it's hard, to, it's hard to choose just one. The one that's sort of been sticking with me lately is, um, um, just to give you a bit of context, it comes at the end of the play, and John is asking Elizabeth for forgiveness. And Elizabeth says, I have read my heart this three months. I have sins of my own to count. In this society when there is no mechanism for release from sin, that they sort of find their own way to that, their own way to uh, personal accountability, and that it isn't about um, passing judgment on another person, but about reading our own heart and understanding um, what it is that we need to contribute, how we need to evolve. So that's the one that's sticking in my head lately. sort of a dream come true that I never knew that I had. I'm not a really typical leading lady. I'm not a typical leading lady at all. <laughs> and so uh, this, to be honest, this part really wasn't on my radar. I never expected to play it and it was a complete surprise. Um, but I have always loved this play and always loved this character. I love her complexity. Just incredibly grateful every single day. I never expected this to happen. And then the other thing I will just add is sometimes these really wonderful opportunities come along and then the experience is really disappointing and it's a bit of a heartbreak. Um, but in this case, I have an amazing partner. I love the cast. The direction by Paul Barnes is wonderful. All of the design um, is incredible. And so I just feel um, blessed and lucky yeah. and grateful. If you're an actor, in the theater and you don't want to play John Proctor, then there's something wrong with you. I, I really do think so. Um, it, it really is one of the greatest roles ever. And, um, and I've been very fortunate at the rep to play some of the greatest roles ever here. But this one's sort of unique because it is, uh, it's classical and yet contemporary. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's, it, it's got a heightened language and yet it's very modern and very relatable. Uh, and it's very honest, you know. Um, there's, a, there's a real honesty required in this performance that is hard to get to and, and you have to really sort of open yourself up and just be there with the audience. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have such a great um, partner on stage to do that with. And um, and I'm just looking forward to the run, how it's gonna grow and how it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, it's it's a part you only get to play once in your life really. And if you know and, and I'm happy to be doing it here.